<coughs> and finally, I've had a couple questions about telling top dead center. And as I did in this video, I showed that you can put a ratchet down in there and turn your uh, crank by hand to make it go forward and backwards, which will bring the piston up and down. I'd flip that around, but I have cigarette butts in there. And, uh, but how do you tell when it's top dead center? Well, in my other video, I talked about putting the thumb over the hole, etc., etc., and using something to put in it. This is actually my preferred tool. It's just a long piece of real flexible wire with a round end on it. And I put that in, fill for the piston. After I put my finger over it, it starts blowing out air on a compression stroke over the spark plug hole. I'll stick this down in there, and as the piston comes up, this moves up. And when the piston starts going back down, this is going down. And if I'm dead set on getting it really top dead center, I'll crank it back until this is up and doesn't go down either way, until I have it top dead center. And like I said, top dead center is not the best best spot to have your car running. Your car will run at top dead center, and then you set your advance after that. That's just the initial Another thing you can use. It's one of these, which is a pressure gauge. These are dirt cheap. You can buy them without the end. I have an end here that's just uh, shoved on mine. It's brass coupling, the same size as my spark plugs. You screw that in and you watch your meter and your meter will show vacuum when it's on the intake stroke and then it'll start showing a uh, push out or blow out when you're on your uh, compression stroke Let's see if I got the lung power for this that would be when it's sucking in the mixture and then when it would blow it out, it would be... <sighs> it would go up, let's just say that. Whew. But when it stopped going up and started dropping back down, you know it's on the exhaust stroke. So I think I made this two or three part video. And uh, it's pretty simple. Simple stuff unless you've never done it before then it can be a little overwhelming I mean the key is just keep playing with it till you figure it out but <clears throat> that's pretty much the basics of a carburetor of your vacuum lens off a of carburetor what you need what you don't need um, some of them have 150 ports off of them and I just don't yeah I mean there's so many pollution and small control things that are out now that it's, it, you, it's almost impossible to know what goes to what if you've pulled an engine out and are trying to put something else, you know, in your car. I run three off mine. Everything else I plug. My car runs excellent. And that's the how the distributor. A little bit more on that and the timing. Well, just a general information video. Well, like I was saying, if anybody has any questions, shoot me a line. I did this for a couple of years and. I hope out what I know. What I don't know, I can always get a hold of some one of my buddies. They're still mechanics, and give them the questions. See if I can find answers for you. But the Chevy small blocks are pretty basic. They're easy to work on. They're cheap for parts. Certain things can be overwhelming. Idles on carburetors and the jets and all that can really confuse people and make them feel overwhelmed. So it can set in the timing. But I mean, it's pretty basic. My other video shows you how you get it top dead center. You get it top dead center, and then you can just rotate your distributor around, you know, to get your four or five degree advance. And then your vacuum port, you know, you hook up your vacuum canister off your distributor to your carburetor, and that's just driving it around, looking for pings and flat spots, and adjusting it there for that. And it's a lot of tuning, but once you get it set, they're pretty, pretty reliable for a while. There's always something that needs to be done, though. But hope this helps somebody. I'm going to post this up for a couple people that send me questions. And if you need anything else, let me know.